Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of a stream-oriented communication. A continuous data stream is in a communication-oriented communication, connection-oriented communication, facility that supports synchronous and asynchronous. That is nothing but asynchronous, guys. They will be calling it as asynchronous. That is nothing but both combination of synchronous and asynchronous data transmission. Okay. Stream-oriented communication is a form of communication in which Timing plays a crucial role. So basically streaming, I hope everyone knows what is streaming, right? So they'll be streaming on YouTube or in any kind of websites. So live interaction between the student or in terms of any kind of video is nothing but live streaming, guys. So here the data is transferred in a high rate of speed and it is transferred through a UDP connection, guys, basically, because here there is no need of confirmation that the packets are received or not, but it should be a continuous way and it should be live right like there can be a delay of some seconds but it should not lead to minutes and hours okay yes so that is the reason of a stream oriented communication so futures will be support continuous media so the media could be audio video animation sensor data so sensor data in terms of i am talking in terms of iot devices like sending any kind of temperature stock exchange and all those things okay stream is a distributed and stream can be managed okay Okay, so again the streams can be again further classified into asynchronous, synchronous and asynchronous, asynchronous. No restriction with respect to when data is delivered. So basically here we are not having any kind of delays and all those things. So whenever it is available, you can send it. Okay, whereas synchronous. So in synchronous, there will be a maximum time bound. That is nothing but at max it should take that much time. So that is nothing but assume in YouTube you can keep a live stream a delay guys. So basically you can keep a delay of one minute. So every time the stream delay will be exactly one minute only. So that is nothing but synchronous. So it can go up to some 0.5 seconds that side and 0.5 seconds this side. So that is nothing but synchronous. Okay. Similarly asynchronous. So combination of both. So maximum end to end delay and maximum delay variance. So basically that should also not be maximum and this should also not be maximum. Okay. Yes. So characteristics could be streams are unidirectional that is nothing but in a single direction. So there is generally a single source and one or more things. Okay. So it can be going all sorry unidirectional means it can go in all directions right. Sorry for that. Okay. So there is a general and a single source. So basically there will be a single source and he will be sharing his data with everyone. So basically if you are doing live stream on YouTube your data will be sent to YouTube and YouTube will be sharing it with everyone. Right. Yes. So often either sync or source is wrapped around the hardware that is nothing but any kind of hardware. Okay. Yes. So I hope everyone got some basic idea about stream oriented. So in the next lecture, we'll be going through a basic introduction about multicast communication. Okay. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.